Hey everyone, it's Alonzo here. First off, I wanted to say thank you for clicking on this video. And I wanted to thank especially to all those of you who have shared a story that helps in so many different ways and we're so thankful for you. For those of you who don't know much about our story, let me give you a real quick uh, rundown of what we have been doing and what we're up to. So Kayla and I got engaged last year on April 20th and we decided that we were gonna get married in the States. And we were just gonna get normal jobs and wait to see what God wanted us to do uh, regarding ministry. Then we were at a friend's house while she was still down here and asking different questions. Uh, we really didn't know why we were moving back to the States. And after trying to find answers to all of these questions, we realized that we were only moving back because we were seeking something that was comfortable for us and easier. And that moment was when we realized we did not want to seek comfort, but we wanted to seek what God wanted for our lives. So we took our time, we prayed, and we wanted to listen to God and see what He wanted us to do. And needless to say, we felt that God had placed in our hearts, both our hearts, uh, the desire to stay here in Honduras. Not knowing what we were going to do, we took the decision that we were going to get married down here in Honduras and stay here. So now all we had to do was wait and see what God said, but the waiting didn't take too long. Less than two weeks after we had taken the decision, we were asked if we wanted to take over the youth ministry at our local church. The youth ministry had been on a standby for quite a while, and there was really no place for the youth to go. The very night before Kayla left, we did our first meeting for the youth, and we had an amazing 16 kids show up. We were amazed. We were not expecting this response for a youth ministry. And you might be thinking, 16? That's not really much, Alonzo. Well, after the first meeting and all the hype, we were down to five kids a week, 10 kids on the good ones. And by no means am I saying that those 10 kids were not valuable. I mean, they were a treasure to us and gave us the encouragement to keep going. And as we did, we faced some challenges and all the difficulties that come with leading people. Now, fast forwarding a year from then, we are now having 30 to 40 kids every single week. We know that that's not the end. God has been faithful and we know that the impact that he is going to create in the city will be way beyond our thoughts and imagination. One of the things that have been happening in our life is we now have our sweet baby Nico. He is two months old now and we're so blessed to have him. And as we're learning how to be parents, we're also learning how to spiritually develop and grow a ministry in a healthy way that exalts God's name over all things. We're definitely seeing some growth happening and with growth comes responsibility. And here's where I wanted to tell you guys some exciting news. Thanks to your support, we're now able to have Kayla step out of her full-time job and step into full-time ministry. She's going to be helping with her youth ministry, planning some of the mission trips that are coming down to Honduras and our social media. And we're so excited that we have now reached this milestone, but we still have some way to go so that we can both be fully funded and devote all of our time to ministry, developing healthy leaders and a healthy ministry to create the impact that God has prepared for the youth of this city. Kayla and I have created The Love We Give, which is the way that you can support us. You can help us financially or simply sharing our story. You can check us out at thelovewegive.com where you can learn more about all that we're doing and everything that's happening. We keep it updated and we'll sure to keep you guys posted. Once again, I want to say thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sharing our story. We'll see you next time. God bless. People are watching. Are you not even going to see? <laughs> Look, it's you, it's you in the camera, baby. You can't see that far. It's be funny if you spit up right. Yeah, it would be funny. All right. Alrighty, that's it. it. God bless. <laughs> it looked like he waved. He did it.